Hello everyone. Another quick update on the layout with the scenery being done on the shed layout and some detailing on the exhibition layout with a few running sessions in between of uh, my brother bringing some stuff around, running his new trains and doing some of his videos on the layout as well. Um, but the, start off with everyone's been talking about it shame about hattons um they've done well for all the years i've bought many things from them in the past and i just wish everyone all the best for the future and the second is for fortunately Worley not happening again that's going to be cancelled so another big show off off the circuit but hopefully there'll be something else to take its place but to carry on Thank you very much for everyone for liking and subscribing all the pictures, all the videos, um, all the subscribers, everything. Thank you. Um, please carry on liking, subscribing. If there's anything that helps, I'm happy for it. It's brilliant. But thank you again for everyone. And I uh, hope you enjoy the video. And uh, see you soon. While I was doing the shed layout, I thought I'd add a bit of a detail on the exhibition layout. I've put, looks like weeds around the sides of the buildings. And then around this one. Add a bit more detail to it. First exhibition's coming soon, so starting to get it ready. Well, I finally got this bit done, so it goes from the bridge now, 
And I've finally got this bit ballast as well, round to the tunnel. And I've actually ballasted it so it goes into the tunnel as well. And then we've just got this section to do around to the platform. So it just means a bit of scenery. And then that section will be done. So I've finished the scenery on this section as well. But the ballast is all done, sealed, and trains are running absolutely fine over it. Another job crossed off. Now, I've started to do a bit of ground cover. I've used Woodland Scenics Earth Fine Turf. Just throw PVA on there and sprinkled it on. Oh. Got Union Pacific 741 going through with a small manifest and cleaning wagon and also the one Anglia 3 car 170 just passing yeah there's a bit of ground cover just the basis on there so that it's ready for the rest of the scenery so I painted the glue on and then just spread it on and I've also done a bit the other side there so I've got a, I'll do that section over around the other corner, but I've got to paint the rails and the track first before I can see it. So just concentrate around here. But it doesn't look too bad. And then we'll uh, do a bit more once it's dry. Well, I've started doing a bit more scenery. I've uh, made some bushes from uh, the horsehair green, blued it in, painted it, added some more turfs to it. And I've got a load of foam from the storage boxes. And I didn't know what to do with them. I've got loads of them. So I've got one of these and literally roughly cut it down the middle, rough the shape up, and I've glued them along the edge, painted them brown, and I shall give that a nice coat of the Woodland Scenics fine turf earth and give it, it looks like there's a rough terrain for a cheap and easy fix i'll tell you what this is brilliant because it can curve none of messing around and once it's dry with all the scenery on and put all your bushes on it you wouldn't notice so another little little project that didn't expect to do but it's using up all the foam or some of it should i say from the storage boxes so that is when that's finished i'll um do another video with all the uh scenery on but yeah coming along nicely and uh might have this board finished within uh, a few days well i thought i videoed that but unfortunately i forgot to push the play button but it's all glued got all the scenery on it now just got to wait for it to dry and then uh, we can think about small bushes and maybe a few trees talking about trees those uh, two that I did earlier with uh, the sea foam uh, sprayed them up with nice dark brown and then with the old hairspray put different layers of scenic foam on starting from the dark to some light uh, I shan't go too mad with these as I'm still sort of practicing with them but hopefully they're not turning out too badly uh, just got to find out where I'm going to put them on the layout but 
that's number that's three trees I've done so far so getting there slowly That is a couple of little projects I've had going that um, a couple of people from my local model railway club have uh, given to me to fix. And the 37 uh, didn't really run unless it was on full power. So this one has had a complete strip down, uh, clean and service. And that now works in one way only still, but we don't know why. It has everything current in the right places, but unfortunately it still works one way, but it still work, it works beautifully. So that was one other project done. So that one out of the way. And this one, 47. Now, this was, for what it is, it is immaculate condition. And what I found was, if I just get the body off, that... The owner said that it wasn't working. So, it's a very early Ringfield motor. And the two brass clips there were missing. So it had no bushes in it whatsoever. And after a few weeks of scouring the internet, I managed to find a company that was selling all the spare parts for them and so i ordered some new brass clips springs and bushes and it now runs as if it was new so it was another project done which was good because i don't like too many projects sitting around on the workbench but it's good to get this out of the way especially as it was it's not mine um and hopefully the owner will be very pleased with it now it's running so I shall, uh, I'll shall. i put a video on afterwards of it running around the shed layout. But yeah, absolutely lovely that. And this is metal. So it doesn't need a weight inside. So the weight is pretty good. But for the condition, like I said, it's absolutely immaculate for the age. But yeah, so that's two projects done on the workbench. Time for the next one.
Uh, the Boeing cars that I finished have had a, a coat of satin just to darken the gloss down. Sealed all the decals and they've come out really nice. Maybe a bit of slight weathering on them but I think they look really good as they are. And something else for the Boeing train, for the idler cars. A friend of mine, Barry, he uh, does 3D printing for us and uh, he's done some icebreakers for the idle cars in between the Boeing fuselages. And they're really, really good. They're slightly lower than the normal ones and they're on the frame so they fit right in between. So they should be one in the middle of each idle car. And I'll tell you what, really nice. Slight darting for the old weathering and they'll be ready to go. But very impressed with that. And also, while we're on the 3D printed parts, oil drums with hand pumps on. There's a little bag of goodies there. They'll find their way on the exhibition layout. And uh, if uh, I see you at the exhibition, don't hesitate to see if you can point them out. Because I'll try to hide them. Uh, that's a little update of the Boeing cars so far. Just trying out this heavyweight coach on the flat car. Um, I think I'll end up taking trucks off, but this one may not use for it, but I do have two boxes with three coaches in have turned up off eBay, and uh, they will be used to be on flat car loads as disused coaches. Uh, another project on the board. Just like to say thank you very much for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you like the videos and take care and see you in the next one. Got the laptop out with JMRI and hooked it up to my NCE and going through all the sound settings and files for all the locos to get them ready for the upcoming exhibition season. Um, some of them were a bit too loud, some of them were too quiet, so just going through and adjusting them to hopefully be okay for exhibitions, not too loud, and hopefully be able to hear them as well.